how I bleed the clutch. Uh, first, uh, I connect the clutch line to the slave cylinder. It's a clutch uh, bleeding valve. It's a T plastic T connector. The two uh, steel spring locks. It's a clutch line uh, from the clutch master cylinder. Uh, first of all, I connect uh, a hose to the clutch bleeding nipple. And the end of that hose I put in an empty transparent bottle. It was empty at the beginning. Uh, then I fill the reservoir to the maximum level with a new fresh braking fluid. And then I apply a pressure, air pressure, to the reservoir. I use a cup with a drilled hole and the hose, silicon hose connection. This hose provides air pressure to the reservoir. I took uh, air pressure from the wheel. This is a hose. It goes from the wheel, from the nearest wheel, to the reservoir. So, this makes a pressure of the brake fluid in the reservoir. The pressure should be about one atmosphere. Then, I slightly release the nipple. Uh, there is a 9 mm key. When I release the nipple, the braking fluid with the air bubbles come to the holes and collect it in a bottle. Here it is. It's a, a braking fluid uh, which was drained during the process. So first uh, I release uh, the first about 100 millimeter, milliliter amount of braking fluid, then I close the valve and I go to the clutch pedal. I made about 10 fast pumps with my hand. Uh, then I repeat the release of the uh, braking fluid. It is most important to keep the level of the braking fluid is at the maximum to not allow the air come to the line. So I made uh, about three uh, release of the braking fluid and then the bubbles uh, stop to go out. So now if I open the valve Only clean braking fluid will go out without any air. And that's all. Now um, the clutch pedal is springy, so it feels like the clutch is working.